Today, you are going to learn about line plots. So students were um, asked to draw stars in one minute, but the tricky part was when they had to draw the stars, they had to just do the outline, which makes it a little bit more um, time consuming. Okay, so that took a few seconds right there. So in one minute, students had to count up how many stars they could draw. Once they had their number, they put a smiley face above their number of stars. So this person here was able to draw 10 stars. This person 11, these three people all made 12 stars, etc. Okay, so the maximum number of stars somebody drew would be 26. Somebody drew 26 stars and that is the most out of these numbers. Out of these responses, which one is the minimum or the least? That would be this person who drew 10. The range is the difference between the maximum and, and the minimum or least to greatest. So we're gonna do 26 minus 10 and that gives us 16. So that means there's a difference of 16 between the person who drew the most and the least. All right, median. This is kind of the trickiest one. Median is the middle number, but it's not the middle number on the number line. What we need to do is find the middle of the responses or these smiley faces. So we're going to cross off the smallest response and the largest response. And we do this in pairs. So a small response and a large response. Small response, large response. Small, large, small, large small, large, and we keep on going in pairs, bloop, bloop, and we're left with just one in the middle, which would be 16. If by chance you were left with two in the middle, you would add them together and divide by two. All right, the mode is the most common response. Okay, so again, um, this person said 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, so we have three 12s. But over here, we have four of the number 16 because four people said 16. So the most common one is 16 because it has the highest stack of responses. All right, outlier. If you notice, these responses are super close together. They're all kind of like chunked. This one off to the side, that's an outlier. It's kind of like far out there. It's different from the rest. Now, this person was either super, super speedy fast, or they might have misinterpreted the directions and drew them the old-fashioned way. And so their answer is different. We still have to include it in the data, okay? But if there's a number that's far away from the rest, we call that number an outlier. All right, good luck.